hello thanks for clicking on my video welcome to my channel lovely moments creating if you are new here consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and remember the notification bell that way you'll be reminded when I upload a video my name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do so if you want to see some of my creations keep watching Excited because today's video is part of my monthly collab what would you do and the theme for this month is girls night out and my dear friend Amber from DIY with Amber will be co-hosting this month collab with me so I will have her channel linked in the description box below along with this amazing playlist we have country lily decor a perfect place to start DIY with Nadia Crafting Queen and Weeks Nest DIY. I am so excited because all of these ladies have amazing channels. They are so talented and I am so excited to see what all of them came up with. I'm going to jump right into my first DIY. And for the first DIY, I'm going to be using some of these rings. I got this pack from Amazon and I will link this item in the description box below. I'm going to be using two of these round wood pieces and these are at Michaels for 99 cents. I also have a pack of the Dollar Tree little tea lights and I will be using some of this small ribbon and this is at Walmart for 47 cents. I'm going to be using some little pieces of greenery and some antique wax and some white shark paint from Waverly. What I'm doing first is just pulling out two sets of these rings and I'm pulling out one of each size. Once I get all of the rings out that I'm going to use, I'm just making sure that I have one of each size. I am going to stack them together and glue them together just like I have them stacked. And I'm just creating a little cover for my tea lights. And so I'm just going to add a little hot glue and press it down. And I'm going to continue this step adding each size until I have the small one on top. And this is how it turned out and what I'm going to do is create the second one and now that I have two I'm just going in the inside adding some extra glue just to make sure that these caps stay together and then I'm going to take that antique wax and I am going to stain both of these little round wood pieces And so I'm just going to add some of the paint and then what I'm going to do is take my paper towel to wipe off any excess paint. And then I'm just going to continue doing that, adding paint as needed and then wiping it off and I am going to do the second one just like that. I'm going to use that white Waverly chalk paint to paint the little caps that I created. And then after I get those painted, what I'm going to do is take my little fowl from the Dollar Tree to sand around the edges of these two little wood pieces. And then after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is take that ribbon from Walmart and I'm just going to hot glue it around the edges of the bottom of these two pieces. These are actually going to be some little coasters as well as they are going to be bases to hold my little tea lights and my little caps to go over them. These are going to be like multitask because what I want to do is just create a nice little set to style on my little cocktail table when I'm having girls night with my sister or my niece or my friend and so what I'm going to do is take those greenery pieces that came off a Walmart pick and I'm just going to hot glue those around the side and then once I get both of those hot glued around the wood pieces all I have to do is just get my tea lights 
and then I'm just going to style them right on top of these little wood pieces and then I can just add my caps over them and these are actually so cute they're cute holding a little tea lights and they also cute as cute little coasters And here is how they look if you style them as coasters. I think they are so cute, perfect for a little girl's night. And so now I'm gonna get started on the second DIY. I have another one of those little round pieces from Michaels. I have one of these dollies and these came out of that pack from the Dollar Tree that has the different sizes. I got this little round wood piece from the thrift store and it was just a dollar. I'm going to be using some Walmart greenery and florals, and these were just 99 cents. I'm also going to be using a old wine bottle. I poured off the labels and cleaned it up real good. I'm going to be using some Jew cord, and I'm going to print something using my Cricut and the same color paint. Now what I'm doing is staining this wood piece. I'm going to stain the smaller piece as well. And then I'm going to use the white Waverly chalk paint to paint that wine bottle. And I'm just creating a little cute centerpiece to style in the middle of the table. And then what I'm going to do is take that jute cord and I'm going to hot glue it around the neck of this bottle. And I'm going to hot glue it around all the way to the top. Then after I get that complete, I'm going to take some more of that jute cord and I just created a little bow that I'm going to attach right below the jute cord. And then now I'm going to get my words that I printed from my Cricut and it says girls night out and I'm just going to transfer this over to that wine bottle. And I'm going to make sure I place it where I want it. And then I'm just going to go over it using that little Cricut tool again. Just to make sure that everything transfers over. And then once I get that complete, what I'm going to do is take that dolly. And I'm going to use some Mod Podge. And I'm going to spread it over that little wood piece. And then I'm going to take that dolly and press it right on top. And I'm going to go over it again with some Mod Podge. And then once that dry, what I'm going to do is take that smaller round wood piece and just hot glue it in the center. And then I'm going to take my wine bottle and I'm going to glue that right on top of the smaller wood piece. And then all I have to do is add my florals and my cute little centerpiece is complete. And I think this will be so cute style for a nice girl's night out. And I'm going to get started on the third DIY for today. And from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to be using two of these round family signs, these little wood signs. I have some of these glass bowls, and these come in a four pack in the kitchen section. I'm going to be using uh, two of those round wood pieces from Michaels. And I have some little greeneries that I pull off a of Walmart pick. And I'm also going to be using some more of those dollies out of that pack from the Dollar Tree and I'll be using some more of the same color paints and I'm just going to take my little screwdriver and remove the little hanging pieces from the back and I'm going to flip it over and also pull up those family metal pieces because I can use those for future DIYs and I'm just going to sand over that paper since it's getting torn but I'm actually going to be using the other side as the top and so what I'm going to do is just sand over everything to make sure that everything is smooth and then what I'm going to do next is stain all of these pieces using that antique wax color once I get that complete I'm just going to go around 
and sand the edges with my Dollar Tree sanding block. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take some Mod Podge and attach those dollies to the big round pieces. And I'm just going to put the Mod Podge down, spread it around. I think I added too much, but I'll be able to use it all. And then I'm just going to place the dollies right on top. And then just go over those with the Mod Podge. And I'm going to just use some of this extra because I did pour out too much. And so after that dries, I'm going to create my little personal trays to hold your drink and your little bowl for your snacks. And I'm gluing the wood pieces down from the top, if you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just gluing the little glass bowl right next to it. And then after I get all of those attached, I'm going to take that greenery and just attach it right in between the bowl and the little wood piece. And you can make as many as these as you need. I think these little personal trays is so cute, depending on how many ladies you're having for girls' night out. And you can style these with your style of decor. I just think the personal little trays are so cute. And so what I'm going to do is show you how they look with the snacks and the drinks. I absolutely love them. And so my niece is coming over for us to have a little chat. So this is super perfect for me and her. And it's going to look really cute on the coffee table. And I'm going to show you how they look. If you just wanted to switch them up and use the coasters to hold the glasses. And you can put the little lights on your trays. Either way, it looks really cute. And so now I'm going to get started on the last DIY for today. And what I'm going to be using is one of these little hanging decor pieces from Target out of the Target Dollar Spot for $5. I'm going to be using some more of some little greenery pieces that I pulled off the Walmart pick. From the Dollar Tree, I have a 10 pack of these little containers, these little plastic containers, and I'm going to be using some antique wax. I'm just going to remove this string piece because I will not be hanging this. And then I'm just going to take the antique wax and I'm going to stain this entire piece. And then after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is take those greenery pieces and I'm just going to attach those on a handle part. And that way I can cover the hole. I absolutely love this piece. I think this one may be my favorite. After I get all of my greenery attached, what I'm going to do is take some jute cord and create just a little small, simple bow. And I'm going to attach that bow right in the center of the greenery. This was so simple, but it's so cute. And I'm just going to take four of those containers to add them. And I just added some nuts and some trail mix in these. And if you want to just grab one, you can just grab one and add it to your tray. I think this is super duper cute. And I absolutely love how that turned out. And here is a second look of all of the DIYs I created today. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. I absolutely do appreciate all of the support. If you like this video, please remember to give it thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And remember, this video is part of my monthly collab called What Would You Do that I host every third Monday of the month. And this month's theme is called Girls Night Out. And the co-host for this month is my lovely, talented friend, Amber from DIY with Amber.
I will have her channel linked in the description box below along with the amazing playlist. These are my girls and we are having a girls night out. Thank you so much ladies for joining me for this month's collab. This has been so much fun. I truly do appreciate it. So after watching my video, please head over to the playlist and see what my girls came up with. I'm sure you're going to find so much inspiration because this is a group of talented ladies. Thank you all again so much. And if you're coming over from any of my friends channels, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you decide to hang around. Until next time, my friends, stay safe and I will see you in the next video.